Hey guys, we're back on Roof Factory. It's still, what is it, the fifth? It's episode six. Uh, what did we do? We just went to the, the forest and we fought a ton of monsters. I'm gonna stash all this stuff. Yeah, look, we got a ton of resources. I can't put food in there. Where do we put food, I wonder? It said these are all upgrade materials. Jewels, metal. Should probably sell some of them, but I wanna I wanna keep some too. Stash that. Get rid of weeds. Apparently, you can use this to look at. Makes you sick. You can improve soil quality. You can use it as fertilizer, I guess. I forgot to do that. I think I'm gonna sell. I guess I'll keep it. I was thinking about selling my sword and all that. Cheap pole. Isn't there a stick? Oh no, I put the stick in there. No, I should actually probably put the storage box outside. I have a feeling that I'm gonna be out there more often than not. Oh, I need to also go do the upgrades and I have to... Oh yeah, I gotta go talk to the dragon or something. Hold on, let's go upgrade. I think I'm gonna upgrade my inventory first. Because I really want to do the crafting license, but isn't there supposed to be a festival soon or something? Buff a move? I don't know what that is. Expand bag, expand storage box. The wardrobe. That's only 50? Oh, you need lumber for this, too. I'm going to expand the bag. I feel like that's really important, especially if we're going to start going into the... into the forest. I can carry about... carry around a bunch of whole... Huh, carry around a whole bunch of stuff. Sounds like a great deal to me. Let's back out. I didn't even pay attention. How much was it? It's like 20 more slots or something. I don't know, whatever. Let's go... Oh, I have to go talk to the captain? Alright, let's talk to the captain. Yeah. Hello, Aries. <laughs> I've already heard all about your exploits from Yuki's rumor mill. Who the hell's Yuki? I don't even remember. Oh, is that... I don't remember. <laughs> You've done quite the good deed. Alright, beat the shit out of a monster. Um, Spell seal? Mm -hmm. Now pay attention. What diet? Left trigger and you're done. Is that a bad thing? This tool lets you catch monsters, only seed rangers may use it. Also proves you belong seed. It's easy to use. Press L trigger to throw your spell seal on target and temporarily catch hold of them. Was this Pokemon? This sounds like a pretty useful technique. You can't catch every monster in the first try, though. Some of the more violent ones can be a real handful. You have no choice but to throw your spell and seal at them several times before it works. Once you restrain your target, you might also end up snatching whatever special items they have on them. Something to keep in mind. So I should throw my spell seal at monsters over and over again to collect items. Fortunately, you can't throw it around willy-nilly. After you use your seal, you'll have to wait for a cooldown period to end before you can use it again. Let me tell you how to charge up your spell seal for a power catch. The fuck? <laughs> you hold down left trigger before throwing it, you can connect with your target. Monsters you forge a connection with become temporary allies and even fight alongside you. What? But they'll leave after a day, so don't forget it's only a temporary alliance. You can also catch items for charging up your spell seal. If you're spot an item that's just out of your reach, take it with your spell seal and let it fly. Oh, that's cool. I think I've covered everything. Dang. Okay, that's nice. Managed to surprise even me. Rescuing a missing person is quite a feat. Say nothing of a wrangling a farm dragon? Yeah, oh, what the hell is a farm dragon? The monster that gave you a lift from the forest. Since their name suggests, farm dragons have patches of farmland on their back. Oh, just like in uh, Tides of Destiny. 
that's what the name refers. <laughs> on their backs? Yep. In old days, only people who managed to forge a bond with Farm Dragon could visit those fields. Legends say that anything planted there will grow into the finest crops you've ever seen. But you needed a very special kind of power to do that, and the dragon had to prove you as well. Someone like you is just perfect. But why me? Who knows? Farm dragons are pretty mysterious creatures. Well, we can make some educated guesses. Runes and dragons have been deeply intertwined since ancient times. I imagine that the farm dragons absorb runes born from the crops growing on their backs. And should any harm befall the land, they create runes from the air. Should any harm befall the land. He said farm dragons, right? So there's more than one? There's more than one out there. If someone with the power they seek appears, they make themselves known to them. So maybe you'll gain another dragon's favor. Hello! I wonder if that will work out. In any case, I'll do what I can to live up to their expectations. Well, aren't you ever the optimist? Though that might not be a bad thing in the long run. By the way, this is just a rumor, but I heard that crystals are a farm dragon's favorite food. So if you want to get on their good side, you'll probably want to collect a bunch of them. I don't even know what a crystal is! That settles it. I know what you are. You're an earth mate. What is it? What? So we call gifted humans who communicate with the creatures and spirits of nature. Earthmates are also known for having green thumbs. They can enrich the land through their simple act of farm work. Hell yeah! Nothing else explains why you could ride a farm dragon. Um. Gifted human. <laughs> See, it doesn't ring any bells. So given your memory loss, it is what it is. No need to think too hard about it. However, just remember that you're special. Please keep this between us. How come? Why? The Soul Sphere is watching. Yes. You'll understand soon enough. Being special brings its own hardships. Hardships? <laughs> Trust me. How's our little town today? That's it. I wanted to talk to you about something. What is it? Wanted monsters, hello. I remember you mentioning them before, right? Their monsters have been singled out by Seed HQ. Generally, these guys have been involved in some kind of serious incident, so someone needs to catch them and turn them in. It's time to put your spell seal to good use. If you ever spot a wanted monster when you're out and about, use your equipment to establish a connection with them, then report back to me. Having said these monsters won't go quietly, you need to wear them down first. Sounds like a lot of work. It is, but there's an upside to it. Catching these monsters will net you some nice rewards, as well as increase your seed rank. Ooh. What exactly is that? Your overall rank in the seed hierarchy. The higher your rank, the more important you are. Good to know. If you become more important, you'll take on more responsibilities. Which means I'm just going to end up busier than ever. You got good instincts. That's exactly what you can look forward to during your rise to greatness. If you ever feel up to the task, let me know which monster you'd like to search for. So I might outrank you someday? Yeah! By all means, please do. It means I'll have a lot less paperwork to deal with. One more thing, if you accidentally defeat a monster monster, then you'll have to start your search all over again. Let me know if that happens so we can restart the investigation. That's all you need to know for now. Where are the monsters at? You're more enthusiastic about this than I expected. Do you know anything about harvest reports? No! Let me fill you in. A lot of talking today. Weather and other conditions determine whether your harvest is bountiful or poor. You can predict local conditions for up to a week at a time, so you should pay attention to them when you're about to harvest something. What? And give you an even more detailed explanation if you'd like. Nah, that's too much reading. Oh god, you pick up these things so quickly, it makes my job much easier. If you ever want to check the harvest board, just ask me about it. Look, dude. Yeah, of course I know. I just want to know about the fucking bounties. Yeah, thank you, finally. Let's hear the harvest report. Bountiful strawberry harvest and a poor toy herb. Harvest. I don't even got strawberries. Wanted monsters. Yeah, there's a lot.
Gobelino or the fairy? Let's get the fairy. Warrels Woodland side in the central region. Farming bread. Back to work. All right, yeah, let's go beat her ass. Man, that was a lot of fucking talking. Holy shit. I got any missions? Didn't I have one? Oh yeah, fishing. Capture the fairy and go fishing. Let's go get the fishing first. Oh wait, actually, first we gotta go look at Senor Dargan. And before that, let's break this stuff. That big old stack of stone looks funny. All right, All right stash that shit. Oops. All right, we need to go do the fishing, but I want to see what's up with the Senor Dargan. Ooh, look at him. He looks so cool. Mr. Dargan. Yeah, this guy's huge! Holy shit, that looks cool. So this is my real farm then. Nice. This is where we get the real shit done. When do I get the barn, I wonder? That's what I want to see. An easier way to pick up all this shit. What the hell is this? Small fodder bin. I need at least zero fodder per day. That's so cool. They actually tell you how much fodder you need. Finally. I wonder if they did that in RF4. I didn't get that far to where I actually got animals. I want to get that iron at least. Nice, nice. So is that the secret? Does it have a tool out and then you can pick shit up? It's another fodder bin. Was oh, that the only one? What the hell is this, Mr. Dargan? <laughs> hey there, Gaia Crystal, dude. I ain't got shit. Temporary boost soils health and damage resistance. Growth speed. Make it rain, cool. Crop yield. More space available. Huh. I wonder if that's permanent. For that more space available. Dude, that's pretty sick. Now let's see, what can we sell? Probably sell that. RP plus seven, who cares? The rest of that stuff we're gonna stash. Dude, that's pretty sick. So I guess this is the real farming spot we wanna use, not this one? I'm not sure. I don't know. I feel like I should probably put the storage out here because I don't wanna have to keep walking in and out to get this thing. Let's pick it up. Let's see if I can do that. So I'm not like ever really inside the house, you know? But I am out here. I wonder if all the storage boxes are connected. Like Resident Evil or something. Can't put rice in there. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> Oops. Okay, wait, what the fuck? Where did you come from? Aren't you not there? Does this shit just grow randomly? Maybe every like 12 hours or something? Yes. 
Let's stash this stuff. Okay, we need to go get that the fish. We can teleport. Uh, we can't teleport over there. Uh, well, let's go teleport over here. I want to fish at the top. I wish there was a portal up there or a teleporter, but I guess not. Let's actually check out. 294 points. Ah, oh, what time do they close? At six. It's Thursday. Okay, let's go do this real fast. I totally forgot. I'm gonna teleport. I'm gonna go uh, get my crafting license. I'm gonna see if I can buy that stuff at. Who the hell is that? Uh, see if I can get. Hold on. Let's see upgrades. Do I have anything else? Just storage box. Other? Take back hats. They gave us presents. Break all furniture? Oh. Okay, we want crafting license. My best. Time to take an exam. Become Palmo's newest apprentice. Buy one from the studio. And use materials to upgrade armor. Uh, give it additional effects. If you want crafting bread. Uh, I don't remember. Doesn't exist. Bug. <laughs> do my best. Studio Palmo. Special effects. Randolph. Right. Wow. Okay. I thought he just sold like regular bread. Not. I forgot. I guess there is no such thing as regular bread. It's only crafting bread. Found someone you'd like to craft accessories for, and nothing like making a matching set for you and yours, I say. I have a question, what exactly are you? Why so curious? I can't help but feel curious you're a box after all. You are a box, bitch. Now someone's sulking, I'll try to see again, things have calmed down a bit. <laughs> Let's talk to this girly, what up girl? Some help? Back up, what? Understood. see what that does she can like help me fight or whatever i think you can have a party of people or something all right i gotta get i gotta go get the fishy but let's go get the crafting table get the crafting table and then we can go grab the fish that's really nice that the stores are open till six. I really appreciate that. Perfect weather for a nap. We got furniture for sale. I like to renovate something. What is that? Welcome. What? Damn, for upgrading your house? What is this? Simple curtain, simple floor. Expands inventory available for purchase? Jesus, 8,000. And it takes points too. What? Yuki will now sell clothes. Also expands the inventory. I don't remember who Yuki is. Is that the old lady? That's pretty cool. Then you can get clothes. Expands inventory. Lacks a daisy. I don't even know what that is. Is that the restaurant? Let's you inspect any equipment you're currently using. Take your time. Dude, shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> Let's you receive vaccinations. Also expands inventory of purchase. Take your huh. Thanks. Oh wait, that was more shit. Hold on. Welcome. Oh, uh, it's just for inside your house. Let's see the furniture. Uh, I'll just carry it myself. You already got furniture in that storage area. Come back. What? You already got furniture in that storage. Huh. Uh, I guess I'll just carry it. Can I teleport? Damn. Ah, oh, three thousand for the forge. Fug. Oh, and it actually takes wood and stone too. Damn, that's brutal knife for the cooking frying pan oven steamer oh 
another storage box 6k well, i guess it's not doing that for a while dude they need to reduce how much these npcs talk in these store menus <laughs> i'm like dude can you shut the fuck up please like take your time <laughs> So this actually is a storage then? This farm toolbox? That's the thing that's outside my house. Water bin, fertilizer. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 18,000 for a well? Holy shit, dude. It's crazy. And to top it off, you gotta remember to take your fucking time. Oh, so that's what that is? That's a fridge? That's for storing bodies. They're cute. Ooh, I like these couches. What the hell? They look nice. I don't remember if you could get furniture in the other games. But I do remember people weren't fucking annoying. 3,000. Thanks. Alright, well, gotta save up money. I guess that works out. Let me talk to him real fast. There's nothing here worth staring at, trust me. Well, fuck you too. Wait, hold on. Let me talk to this dude. Big giant man. Sunny salutations. How are you this fine day? I'm doing just great, Palmo. Say, could you tell me a little bit about your shop? Absolutely. It'd be my pleasure, honor, and privilege. And I already regret talking to this guy. Studio Palmo is not only a purveyor of fine furniture and first class cookware. The fucking Gear Wars. Nobody wants to hear about the fucking Gear Wars, man. But also, you go to destination when you want to expand any shop in Rigbarth. We can go remodeling other buildings on a whim without even asking people for their permission. Duh. We're not talking about a remodel alone on a mere whim. We're talking about art. Somebody don't think people are. As the architect who built most of Rig Bart's beautiful buildings, I don't think adding a tiny addition here or there would cause any problems at all. In fact, I go so far as to say that an unexpected renovation would leave the occupant jumping for joy. I sure hope you're right about that. When someone else's abode undergoes a major transformation, so does their heart. Expanding an establishment would bring nothing but positive changes to Rigbarth Aries, I guarantee it. If you ever have a request that needs fulfilling, we here at Studio Palma will make your dreams come true. We meet again. So we do, it's nice to see you, Palma. By Jove, you remember my name. <laughs> Congratulations, all our new acquainted customers to your free cooking table. Hey, cool. You find your lovely gift waiting for you by the entrance it's to you almost don't forget to bring it back home damn is that legit glorious greetings the weather today is beautiful uh i just wanted to talk jesus <laughs> i ain't reading that wow you sound happy did something good happen today no nothing in particular doesn't the sudden yet inexplicable urge to yodel at the top of your lungs ever strike you <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. I'm getting tired of talking because this motherfucker talks so much. Oh, this is what the storage thing is. Oh, that's the one inside my house that the wardrobe is on. Yeah, I didn't know that was like the thingy that you, you, you can't teleport. No, Fuck. <laughs> I still got to get the stupid fish. Can I just leave it here? It won't let me click anything. All right, let's go take it back. I see any fish shadows. Man, that sucks. Oh, I can place it. It just needs to be on a flat surface. Now it says place. Well, it's too late. I'm already over here, so we're going to put this shit down. Hold on, actually, real fast. Yeah, see, it won't even let me click on it, as if it's not even, like, a real thing. I should probably just leave all my shit out here, right? I mean... Do I don't have to go inside my house? Hmm. I mean, it's, like, kind of not even really my house. The silo! What is this? Oh. Storage? Maybe that's like your other room when you get married or something? Hmm. It's my wardrobe. 
Look inside. What was the deal again? So you can't put food in there. Storage box. Oh, so they are connected then. Let's look at that. Storage box and wardrobe. I can access them both. Nice. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let's see with the cooking table. What should I make? Materials needed. I don't know how to do that. Uh, let's go try and get that fish before we run out of time. Actually, we need stone for shit. Alright. Pick up the stone. Alright, now we can go get the fishy. The fish. Man, we did a lot of shit in this episode. Jesus. Uh. Can I fish here? Didn't it say there had to be like a shadow or something? Like Animal Crossing? Can I just fish wherever I want? Oh yeah. Easy does it. Oh yes. Where are the fishies at? Oh, I see a fishy. To the left. Hey, motherfucker. Why don't you come get my bait, huh, buddy? Oh, I almost clicked it. Yeah, I'm just like that. You're mine. <laughs> All right. You stupid dumbass fish. <laughs> the way he said that is so aggressive. <laughs> You're mine. You dumb motherfucker. Can I go turn this in now? This is really nice. Now I can actually like play the game and do shit. Let me see. Not bad. Not bad at all. You really take fishing seriously, then maybe one day I can call you my biggest rival. 300 G? Any other missions? Holy shit, that's a lot. Ah, uh, I want to do everything. Harvest the potato. I don't have potatoes yet. Take care of the orcs. Uh, let's get this potato one because we have potatoes growing. So are you growing any veggies? You better be because I got a challenge for you. Get out there and harvest some potatoes. Farming basically involves planting seeds, helping them grow, and then harvesting the crops when they're ready. Easy, right? I want you to harvest some grown homegrown spuds. Think you can pull it off? Yeah, yeah. Place some grass in the fertilizer bin. Oh, no. Should have kept the grass. Thanks a lot for doing all that hard farm work. I really appreciate how much effort you put into it. You must have felt pretty tired afterwards. So did you know that your soil can get so tired that no crops will grow in it? When that happens, use some fertilizer to return it to normal. All you need to do is throw any kind of grass in the fertilizer bin to make your soil happy and healthy. When you run out of fertilizer, avoid planting new crops so that the soil can take a break and slowly recover on its own. Hmm. This little thing? Pick it up. I thought it was gonna be like a giant bin. This thing's tiny. Uh, do I put it down or? Yeah, I just put it right here. Toss in all weeds. Total fertilizer. I should put weeds and grass to keep my fields healthy. Hmm. Okay. That was it, right? Nice job! Healthy soil needs a good diet of fertilizer, so make sure to add some every day. Don't forget to throw any extra grass or weeds into the fertilizer bin. Please check the nearby chest for some withered grass. Not a problem, I could do that. I thought I just had to sell it. Smash ore with a hammer to mine iron. Wind slash. 7500G? What the fuck? What? I want to do all this shit. Smash ore with a hammer to mine iron. Sparkly rain. I like sparkly things. I haven't seen many of them around here lately. Adashim? I heard you can mine for minerals like iron if you have a hammer. Iron is shiny, so I want some. Aries Gaud. Aries, do you know how to use a hammer? Yeah. You do please mine some ore for iron and show it to me. You can find it in dungeons. I already got some iron. Can I just give it to her? Okay, smash ore with a hammer to mine iron. Do I have to... 
Can I just get the iron? I mean, I got fucking iron, man. I mean, I already did that shit. Where do I put food? Let's see if they let me. Or do I have to actually break an iron ore? Nope. All right, well, we can do that next time, I guess. Now that I'm doing all these missions, I'm like, ah, oh, no, there's too much shit to do now. Good problem to have, I guess, right? Uh. Uh, oh, let's put away that stone. I think that's about it, guys, for the episode. Let me just... Let's just look at these missions real fast. 75 hundo? Have you been putting the spell seal I gave you to good use? I don't even know how to fucking use it yet. It doesn't just prove that you're a ranger, you can also use it to catch monsters. Yeah, but when do I get the barn? I'm a little worried that you don't quite know how to use it yet, so I want you to get some practice. Yes, please, hold down. Prepare a power catch you can use to connect with your target. After you forge a connection, return to the task board to give you a report. Alright. Another catch monster mission? Gotten used to how Seat does things yet when you get too comfortable though a good ranger remains ever vigilant. I know just the job to help you stay sharp. Get out there and catch a wanted monster. This is an order from your caption just so you know so don't you don't get to turn this one down. Is it the same thing? I guess it's a separate mission then. Huh. I'm just gonna get everything. I've heard a lot of adventurers complaining about orcs attacking recently. If you reduce their numbers by two or so, they probably think twice about going after people. I think you can do that for me. You want orcs too? A friend of mine was attacked by some orcs the other day. A whole horde of them, in fact. I think you can thin out their numbers a bit for me. Take out two, huh? Yeah. I heard this one before. Can't accept any more requests. How many do I got? Six? Seven? What is that symbol? Huh. Reward? Oh, I get their outfit? Phrase outfit? Less? I don't even remember who that is. Harvest the potato. Oh, it says main story has officially made me a seed ranger. All right, all right. Well, I think I'm gonna hop off. Man, I still have a lot of energy. I should probably... I don't know what time you can actually go to bed. It's probably like 12 or something or 10. I don't know. I'm going to save for now. I'm going to hop off. But next time, I think we're going to stay up and finish the rest of the day. Because I'm curious to see what time we can stay up till. Probably like 10 or 12 maybe. I'm not sure. All right. That's it, boys and girls. I'm Outsies. Thanks for watching. See you later.